In this video, I'm going to go over how to add and configure coupons for your online store. So to configure coupons here, we're going to scroll down in our left-hand sidebar until we see WooCommerce. I'm going to go over here, and there's coupons. So once I select this, it's going to bring me to my coupon settings. Here you can see I already made a coupon. I'll make another one here. So in here, this is the coupon code. Um, this is what you share with everybody that you'd want to enter the coupon code. Um, this is what you put in your email blast, maybe on social media, something like that. So I'll make a coupon code, um, end of year 2020 maybe. We can make a description here if we wanted to, describe what it does. And then down here we get into the coupon data. So I have a discount type. You can see uh, it's based on uh, defaults to fixed cart discount, which means that no matter what, uh, how much there is in the cart, it will always just take off a flat rate. So maybe that's $10 off your order, $20 off your order, things like that. Then we have a percentage discount here. So if I click on percentage discount, now I can change instead of this amount being a dollar amount, it's a percentage amount. So maybe it's 10% off, 50% off, things like that. So make this a fixed card discount here. I'll make the coupon amount for $15. Then down here I have another checkbox. So maybe we want to allow this coupon to waive the shipping fee. Um, a lot of, lot of great ways to entice online orders is to say, hey, use this coupon on your first order and uh, you get free shipping. So we can check that if we want to enable it. And uh, maybe we want to have an expiration date for this coupon. So since it's an end of year coupon, I'll maybe push it to like the first week in January. Then we have some usage restriction settings here. So we can see that maybe it's uh, you have to spend a minimum amount. So maybe this is save $15 on orders, $30 or more. Maybe it's save uh, $15 on orders up to $300. You can see that I have a maximum spend here as well. There's a reason I wanted to do that, especially with percentage discounts. Then down here, we have individual use only, which means that this coupon will not be compatible with other coupons. It's either this coupon or it's the other coupon. So if I apply this coupon, all the other coupons in my cart will automatically be invalidated because this one trumps them. Then we have exclude sale items. So for example, if I have a couple sale items that are in my cart and I don't want them to be discounted because they're already discounted in my store, I can check this box, especially if it's a percentage discount. It'll take the percentage sale on the total of the items that are not on sale. So this is a good way to make sure that you're not accidentally putting an item on sale twice and you're losing money on a promotion. Then down here, we can set for specific products. So maybe this is a coupon for only one product. I'm going to search for my wing product here. So here, I can say that this coupon only works on my wing product. Then if I want to specifically exclude products here, I can search for my other products here. So now it'll only work on wing product and only, and it will not work on other products. But if I click this little X here, now what I'm saying is this works on all products except for the other product here. So that's a great way to narrow down how your coupon works and what products your coupon is going to apply to. If I didn't want to apply it to specific products, but I wanted to apply it to specific categories, say for example, 50% off all home decor items, anything that's categorized as home decor would be uh, applied, uh, would be discounted through this coupon. And then uh, same thing with including and excluding products. I can also exclude categories. So maybe I want it to be all categories except for maybe a certain category that I just don't feel I want this coupon to apply to. Then down here, this is a really nice feature. I have an allowed emails, which means that uh, this is a really good way to make sure that only certain people can use this coupon. Um, only a certain account that's logged in, only a certain billing email address. Uh, this is a good way for uh, customer service recovery. Um, say, for example, um, customer orders something on your store, it arrives broken, or maybe the shipping took longer than usual, especially for maybe how much they paid. Um, this is a great way for you to be proactive and say, hey, sorry about that. Um, I'm going to offer you a one-time coupon code for 25% off your next order. And then what you do is, with their email address, you can just put their email address in here. So if they share that coupon code with somebody, it won't work because it's not in their account. So this is a really powerful customer service recovery tool as well. Then lastly, we have a couple usage limits here. So maybe we limit the, the coupon per user, 
or limit the usage per coupon. So maybe we can only apply this coupon once. We can also limit per user. So maybe this person can only apply it once and then they're done. If they were apply this to another order, it wouldn't work because they've already used this coupon. So there's a, these are really great ways to make sure that your coupon's exactly how you want it. Once you're happy with the way everything looks, we can hit publish here. Then once you hit publish, we can share this coupon code wherever you, uh, wherever you want. Like I said, uh, email blast, social media, uh, the sky's basically the limit on getting that coupon code out. Once you're happy with the way the coupon is, and once you're happy with users using the coupon, uh, you're pretty much good to go. The coupon will automatically expire if you have it set here. And if it doesn't automatically expire, you can come in and expire it yourself just by either adding an expiration date or just moving the coupon to the trash. If you have any questions about coupons or you need help with coupons, let us know. We'll be happy to help you out. Thank you.